Sin is very easy to commit, but wake up for Salatul Fajr. Wake up for Salatul Fajr. Come to the masjid. Sit in an Islamic program. Stand up in Taraweeh. Those 10 minutes that the Imam takes more in Salatul Taraweeh, they will seem like two hours. But the two hours we spend outside the masjid smoking and laughing will seem like 10 minutes. May Allah forgive us. Imagine why that was a waste of time. So Shaitan just says, beautifies it and says, hey, it's nice. It's cool. You know, you're sitting here Saturday, Saturday evening. Subhanallah. When I was in Trinidad, they call it liming. You know, they lime. And I was wondering what it means. But now I know, I know exactly what it means. They sit and just chill, doing nothing. And that they will enjoy. Call them for salah. Tell them to listen to the Quran. Tell them there is a tafsir program going on in the masjid. Come and sit. They will sit for five minutes and as though there are ants in their pants. They will want to get up and walk out. Allahu Akbar. Why is this? My brothers and sisters, that is what shaitan is talking about. Shaitan says, I did not have any authority over you. I beautified it a little bit. You fell for it. Now you're going to pay. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala safeguard us. This is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, when you are thankful to me, I will grant you increase. But I want you to know in order to be grateful, you will have to think what are the gifts I have bestowed upon you. A lot of what Allah gave you, you won't realize until you sit and you ponder. And he says, when you do ponder, you will never ever be able to reach the ultimate gifts of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You won't count all of them. How many are you going to count? You're going to start today, one day, two days, five days, 10 days. You're going to start so many days counting every day a thousand things. You still will not be able to complete the gifts of Allah. Even if you are to look only at your eyes, just your eyes, and you are to look at a million things that medicine will tell you regarding your eyes. If you won't even be able to go beyond your eyes a year later. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us a deep understanding. Ask those who cannot see. Subhanallah. Imagine with your eyes and with our eyes, we don't have a little knob on the side where we need to focus and make sure we can see properly, etc, etc. Brother, you just come out, the thing adjusts on its own to the light, to the darkness, to whatever it is, etc, etc. Everything is done, planned by Allah, gift of Allah. If we were in prostration our entire lives to thank Allah only for the way the oxygen is filtered into our system, Wallahi, it would not be enough. Wallahi, it would not be enough. If you were to pay a million rands for one heartbeat and Wallahi, you were to save your life as a result of that, you would result, you would understand that a million rands for one heartbeat is worth it. Is worth it. Imagine if you had to pay that for every heartbeat and you have 136,000 hearts per heartbeats a day. What would you pay? Say you had to pay one cent per beat. My brothers and sisters, can you not read Salah at least? Can you not fulfill the five daily prayers at least? Save yourselves. Allah gave you 136,000 heartbeats every single day. If one had to stop, it would declare almost the end of you. And yet you can't even get up for Salatul Fajr. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us. May he guide us. May he definitely keep us away from the clutch of the devil. We think we are healthy. But wallahi, a split second, you just need a doctor to tell you, brother, there's a tumor in your brain. May Allah safeguard us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala cure all those who are sick and ill. Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu says that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, listen carefully Muslims, that that angels have shifts over you like as in angels come and stay with you for the night and other and then they go up to the heavens and then other angels come and stay during the day and they go up at night the shift swap times are Fajr and Asr. So the hadith says both groups of angels are present at Fajr and both groups of angels are present at Asr. Am, am I making sense or have I lost you? So at Asr time, the angels for the night come down and the angels of the day are there, they shift swap and then the angels of the day go up and the night ones stay for the night. So both of them are present at Fajr and both are present at Asr. 
That is why the verse of the Quran, Subhan al Khaliq, says, Inna Quran al Fajr kana mashhuda. The Quran of Fajr is witnessed, as in both groups of angels witness it. So it is recorded double. Fajr is recorded twice, and Asr is recorded twice. Because both the angels are there recording. وَرُسُلُنَا لَدَيْهِمْ يَكْتُبُونَ And our angels, messengers, are with them recording. So they record Asr and the other one records Asr. And then they go up to the Dhul Arsh Al-Majid and فَعَالُ لِمَا يُرِيدُ So look at this. So Allah Rabbul Izzah asks them, كَيْفَ, وج... كيف تَرَكْتُمْ عِبَادِي How did you leave my servants? So the angels say, تَرَكْنَاهُمْ وَهُمْ يُصَلُّونَ وَأَتَيْنَاهُمْ وَهُمْ يُصَلُّونَ We came to them, they were praying. We left them, they were praying. So what a beautiful record report daily that at the beginning of it is salah and at the end of it is salah. And note here carefully, you are reported about twice daily. So when your boss requires a report, you make adjustments, you make preparations. Now the Dhul Arsh al-Majid takes two reports about you daily. One comes about you at Asr and the other one at Fajr. Your deeds go up and are presented to the, to the Lord at Fajr and at Asr. And the secret is this, that if you pray these two prayers well, and meet the haqq of prayer, then whatever's in between it, Allah will forgive. بِدَلِيلِ قَوْلِ اللَّهِ تَعَالَى وَأَقِمِ الصَّلَاةَ طَرَفَيِ النَّهَارِ وَزُلَفًا مِنَ اللَّيْلِ إِنَّ الْحَسَنَاتِ يُذْهِبْنَ السَّيِّئَاتِ And pray at the two ends of the day, and at the arrival of the night, the good deeds will delete the bad. And Ibn, Ab uh, Ibn Mas'ud radiallahu anhu narrates that a sahabi, uh, in a moment of weakness, kissed a lady who was not someone for him to kiss. And then regret set in. So, what, what you know, and in one of the aqwal, and in the sanad of this, there is da'af. <coughs> he went to Umar ibn al-Khattab. And he said, Ya Umar, I have made this, I have done this mistake. So Umar ibn al-Khattab told him, Fear Allah and cover your sin. Khalas, go make tawbah and awbah, cover it. But these were pure hearts. So he wasn't so much worried about the image, he wants a solution. So he went to the Rasul, Ya Rasul, I, I did this in a moment's weakness. I stretched over and I kissed the lady. Uh, <coughs> so the verses were revealed that pray at the two ends of the day and at the approach of the night, as in this is the Salat of Asr, or uh, insistence on the Salat of Asr, the good deeds will delete the bad. So the scholars give a beautiful example. If there are two lights, there's no darkness in between. And you will notice that it is the same two prayers which you are the laziest to pray. Fajr comes and you have the hadith for it. Shaitan knocks your head into the pillow. Why? Because he doesn't want the sins of the night deleted. So you sit, you become lazy, lethargic, tired, sleepy, and Asr comes, you've just come from work, all of a sudden sleep comes and overtakes you to you, just enough for you, when I swear it to you, wait for Asr to finish, you're fine. You become full of life and energy once again, because the Mal'oon lets you go. So what, what you need to do is be insistent and persistent on these two prayers. And look at the wisdom of the Rasul, the adhkar of sabah in masa are at these times. So this is where you sit and do your a hundred istighfar. And subhanallah, this is where you do your, your adhkar of, uh, you know, of, of morning and night. Um, and how beautiful will a record look? 
you know, Fajr, Salat, MashaAllah, preferably in Jama'ah, then Adhkar, then Istighfar, then Qira'ah, your introduction is nice and solid. 